So, let us discuss question number 101. Now, trachees differ from other trachery elements in. So, other trachery elements means we have to consider here vessel. So, we have to see how trachees they are different from vessel. So, here T is representing tracheid, V represent vessel. If we look, look into the first option that is having Casparian strips, Casparian strips they are absent both in tracheids and vessels. Casparian strips they are present in endodermis, being imperforate. So, in the cross wall of vessels, there is presence of there is presence of perforations, cross wall and in the tracheids, the cross walls they are absent. So, imperforate condition is there with respect to that. Lack nucleus, both tracheids as well as vessel at the maturity, they lack nucleus. So, nucleus is absent in both of them. The last option is lignified wall and lignified wall is present both in vessels as well as tracheids. Right? So, all the features which I have mentioned here, they are same except one, the differentiation is there with respect to the perforation. So, the right answer here is option number 2. So, let us discuss question number 102. In question number 102, we have to see in which of the following plants the part which is edible that is underground stem. Now, in the case of carrot, the part which is edible that is root, in groundnut, seeds they are edible, sweet potato, in sweet potato the part which is edible that is root. And in potato, the part which is edible that is underground stem and you know you might be knowing that underground stem it is known as tuber. So, right option for this question is option number 4. Now, question number 103 I will be discussing here. Now, in question number 103, we have to see that which of the following structures they perform function of mitochondria in bacteria. You know that bacteria, it has got prokaryotic cell structure. So, the membrane bound organelles in bacteria, they are absent, mitochondria is absent. So, if the mitochondria is absent, the function of mitochondria is taken up by the in growth of membrane. Yes, the in growth of membrane, what they are known as? Mesosome. Let us say this is bacterial cell, this is outermost covering that is cell wall. Yes, below the cell wall, now this layer which I am forming here that is plasma membrane and in the plasma membrane, you can see these in growths, yes, these are the in growths of the plasma membrane. You call these in growths as mesosomes. They can acquire central position or they can also acquire peripheral position and if they are present peripherally, they are involved in respiration, thus taking over the function of mitochondria. Now, question number 104. Now, in question number 104, which of the following represents the solid cytoskeleton component whose diameter is 6 nanometer? We have to see here. Now, cytoskeleton, it is composed of three main components that is microtubule, microfilaments and intermediate filaments. If we compare these three, then microtubules, they are hollow tubes.
then microfilaments the microfilaments they are solid rods intermediate filaments now these are hollow filaments Now these hollow tubes, they are made up of tubulin protein. Microfilaments, they are made up of actin-like protein. These hollow filaments, that is intermediate filaments, they are made up of keratin, desmin-like protein. Right? If we look into the diameter, these hollow tubes, they have diameter of 25 nanometer approximately. These solid rods, diameter ranges from 6 to 8 nanometer. And these hollow filaments, the diameter is 8 to 10 nanometer. So amongst these three cytoskeletal components, the one which are solid and having the diameter 6 to 8 nanometer, that is microfilaments. So the microfilaments represent the right option for this question number 104. So now let's discuss question number 105 here. 